and sin 7 pi by 2. To find this, we should follow this method C. In the denominator, we have 2 and in the numerator, we have 7. Now you should check. 7 is close to which multiple of 2? What I mean is 7 and here you should write multiples of 2 that is 6 and 8. Now 7 is close to which multiple? It is close to both of them. So you select any one. Let us say I select 6. So now 7 should be written as 6 plus 1. So this will change to sine. In place of 7, now you should write 6 plus 1. Pi by 2. This is your step 1. Next. Sine. Now you should open up the brackets. So you get 6 pi plus 1 pi by 2. Now sine. You should split the denominator in this way. That is 6 pi by 2 plus 1 pi by 2. Next. Sign. Now here you should cut 2 1s, 2 3s. So we get 3 pi plus this no change. 1 pi by 2. Next. Here we have pi, so sine is not going to change, it will remain sine. And here we get this angle, pi by 2. Now the question is, will we get here plus or minus? To answer that, you should look at the number before pi, which is 3. Here we have 3 and 3 is odd. And all the odd multiples of pi, they lie in, in the second or in the third quadrant. Now to check in which quadrant does it lie, we should look at this symbol. Here we have plus. So the angle lies in the third quadrant. And in the third quadrant, sign is negative. So you put minus. So minus sine pi by 2 is 1. So this is our answer.